Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to show you how to sign in using your Google account to any website that you created in Firebase Authentication. So first, go to your project in, your, in the Firebase console and go to Authentication. We need to add the Google provider as a sign-in method in our project. So click this sign-in method and click Add New Provider. Then click Google. Then click this enable. If you haven't set up yet your project support email, I need you to click this one. And set up your support email. Then reload this page. And click add new provider again. And click Google. Click enable and click save. Now you can see Google Google is now one of your provider using Now you can see Google is now a provider in your project for signing in Now you can see you can sign in now by Google because Google is now one of the provider in your project So before I continue you need it is very important for you to host your file locally or web before starting this before adding google as your provider because it will not work even if you if you just open your file using your file explorer so i'll show it to, to you later you can use you can watch my hosting tutorial or you can use any application like some so now let's start so go to your file go to your code and you need to import Google auth provider and sign in with pop up so there are two ways to use Google as a use to sign in by Google you can use sign in by pop up which is there is a met there is a pop up window that is that where you can pick which Google account you're gonna use or there is a redirect method so I'm gonna show both of them later, but I first I'm gonna show the sign in with pop up. Next is we're gonna initialize our Google Auth provider. So fonts, I'm gonna name this one Google is equals to new Google Auth provider. So as you can see, I already updated this website. Um, this login form and I already added Google button so we're gonna do is get this button in a variable assign it in a variable so go to the bottom and I'm gonna show you so let's say Google sign in I'm gonna put a method so we're gonna go let Google sign in is equals to now I'm just gonna go in is equals to document that get element by id we're gonna get the id so its id is google btn then we're gonna go and add an event listener to it Google sign in that add event listener that if it's click we're gonna do we're gonna sign in we're gonna sign, show the pop up button pop up window I mean so next we're going to type is sign in with pop up and we're gonna need the authentication and the Google auth, auth provider which is the Google then then if it's successful we're gonna assign those in a result variable called result then we're gonna go and get the credential from the result credential is equals to 
Google auth provider dot credential from result from result result so what this does is gonna so what this code does is it will get what account you pick in the google pop-up window and the next one we're gonna do is add is initialize the access token so go and token is equals to credential shall that access token then we're gonna save the we're gonna show who's the current user so constant user is equals creden is equals result dot user so next I'm gonna show you is why it is important for you to host it locally or online because if I open this file if I reload this file and click Google as you can see it will not work but if I open my CMD and open this file locally hosted then I'm gonna go CD downloads I'm gonna go to the directory of my file and type Firebase serve and if I open localhost 5000 here and click Google as you can see it will work so if I click programming arc And now, if I go to the Firebase console and click this user, as you can see that my email is already signed in it, and it has already created an account. So, so that is how to use sign in with pop up. So next, I'm gonna show you is the sign in with redirect. So to sign in with redirect, um, let's go to our file and edit this sign in with pop up with and change it to redirect the same as this one in the bottom then reload this file this web page and click google so if you have only one account to your browser it will already use that account so you will not will not show you this page anymore it will already use that account and sign in that account to the to the project to the project so if I click this account it will redirect me to the last to the last web page that you use so it's up to you whether you want to redirect it into another web page but if you look in this project console and reload this it will show you that I already have logged in this account and that is how you sign in by Google using redirect and pop up so I hope that you learned something in this video tutorial so if you want please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel thank you and peace out